if you can create an opportunity for children to be the absolute best and reach their fullest potential, then you should absolutely make it available. This is the story of A Better Chance, an educational nonprofit. We have a dorm residence on Main Street, which is home to seven to eight students of color. Here, these girls find everything they need to excel, just like any other students in Andover. After graduation, they go on to competitive colleges and brighter futures. Too many school systems in this country do not have the resources, the curriculum that's challenging enough for talented, bright, high-achieving young people. You were here because of your potential to excel. They saw potential. I was um, announced the valedictorian of my eighth grade class, which had, I think, a little over 500 kids in total. So that was a really big deal for me. I had never felt like I wasn't the best or the smartest. But here challenged all of that. And it made me think that there's some sort of, you know, divide where people have access to things that other people don't. I like New York City, but I, I did not want to go to high school in the city. Just the environment, the, the learning environment. When I was younger, my mom used to, um, she used to use it as a threat, like, oh, I'm going to send you away to school. Um, and then as I got older, I was like, wait, I do want to go away to school. It was really hard leaving because I was outside of my comfort zone. Um, for one, I wasn't going to be surrounded mostly by African Americans, so that's different in a way. And culturally, Andover is different from New York. Massachusetts is different from New York on a whole. People were very like surprised that I had adjusted so well here. Um, but I, I guess I was just excited to be taken out of the situation that I was in back home. I didn't expect everyone to be so friendly. Like, when I first got here, my facial expressions were, don't mess with me, because, yeah, just don't mess with me. Being able to live in the house with the girls that I met, um, it was, I, I couldn't ask for a better experience. I love the girls that I've, I lived here with, and I'm, we're gonna, we're gonna have long-lasting friendships. Something that is really helpful to me here is definitely the, su the support system that we have. Um, everybody is volunteering out of their own time, and I think that's really cool because everyone has their own kids, but yet they're still around to help us out. At Andover High School, the teachers really teach you the subject. Like, they really prepare you. You're ready for it when you take the MCAS, when you take the exams, the standardized tests. Like, you, you know that I'm going to do really great. You want to focus on academics? We'll get you a tutor if you need help. It's like, really? You'll do that for me? Wow. <laughs> I feel like going into high school, the kids that are here, they know each other, they have their friends, they play sports, like they've been with each other their whole lives. And I didn't realize that when I first got here. I just felt like I didn't belong here. But once you open up and you meet new people, you branch out, you volunteer, you play sports, I feel like it definitely plays a part in your high school experience. The school in general is just, it's such a, it's so different than what I'm used to that it's kind of like eye-opening that, that, wow, a lot of my friends back home aren't gonna be able to have this opportunity. I know friends at home, their counselors don't even ask them what college they're going to. They don't talk about the college process at all because most, most people there assume they're not gonna go to school. The expectation coming into the ABC program is that we are going to prepare them for college and as many options as they can for the future. So I believe that when they're here, they know that, that 
the goal is to have the most fulfilling and enriching experience they can at Andover High School so that they can have as many options um, in terms of further education when they leave here. So I took AP Biology my junior year of high school and I loved it. I was very passionate about it and from there um, I wanted to study neuroscience and I think that's what I'm going to be majoring in in college. The reason I want to do neuroscience is because I want to study and learn more about drug addiction because I've seen it and I've seen what it does to people and their families and I just want to be able to understand it better and help others. What I think I saw most uh, on the part of the students at Andover High was a, a sense of um, respect and admiration for the kids who are in the ABC house for having made the, the, uh, the decision to leave comfortable surroundings and um, come to a community that, you know, that, that was quite different uh, for, from what they've experienced. I went upstairs to my locker. Luckily, my locker was close to some of the other freshmen, so it was helpful, but I didn't know how to open my locker. Um, it was just overwhelming for my first day. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was that I wasn't feeling like myself. That's why I didn't, like, couldn't open my locker, but now I could just, like, I don't even have to look at the lock. I can just open it. Andover ABC especially has done a lot in helping my self-esteem and helping encourage me to do stuff. So now I can en encourage myself sometimes, even though if I, I really want to put myself down, it gives me that, that really, I don't, like, oomph, <laughs> you know, just to keep on going and finish it. And I, I thank Andover ABC so much for doing that for me. I volunteered at Esperanza Academy in Lawrence, which is a town similar to my own. I was able to help them with homework and just talk to them and be their friends and I was able to get to know them on a personal level and it was so nice because the I was in these girls shoes at one point in my life and it's nice that I've been able to now tell them that it, this is not all there is like there's a lot more ahead of you you just have to work hard. I've worked in public higher education all my working life and I know that education really transforms people and so for me this is an extension of really my passion which is to see young people learn and grow and the girls are amazing. Um, I'm really privileged to be a host parent as well as a board member and to see these girls develop and grow, you know they're going to be amazing community leaders. I get thrills thinking about it. Because of that core that I had being here, I know that what's going on in the economy right now does not limit me from me wanting and seeking and going further in going for my dream of having my own business. One of my heroes, she rose, is a woman named Fannie Lou Hamer. She taught us what I call the morality of remembrance. And she said, there are two things that we ought to do. We ought to never forget where we came from and always praise the bridges that carried us over. And so that's why I'm here.